are a family-friendly water park that's going to be located in Fort Wayne. We plan to take challenges from the TV show Survivor, so and put them throughout our water park. So this is what you see at a common water park, and that's located outside. Um, children are happy, and we want to bring that to Fort Wayne. So our purpose is to provide a family-friendly fun center that will challenge, that it will go all year long, and it will challenge people that go to the water park mentally and physically using those challenges from the show. Our objective is to not only bring in people from Fort Wayne, but the surrounding cities, so they, went to, so bring attention to not only our business, but the city of Fort Wayne. So we're located on 4901 West, West Jefferson Boulevard, and we chose this area because it's located close to Jefferson Point, so maybe we'll get people to see it and we'll want to go, go to it. And also 51.9% of people that live in that area are family households, and that's kind of our main person or people that we want to attract. Okay, so our water park is going to be open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And our hotel, which is going to be a next step, we haven't really looked into it that much yet, it's going to be open 24 hours, so you can come anytime you want. A mission for adults is going to be $20 a day, children is going to be $15 a day, and seniors are going to be $7.50 a day. So this is demographics of Fort Wayne, and in Fort Wayne, 22.78% of people range from the age of 1 to 19 years old, so that's, that's kind of like our goal, people. Um, 49,847 families have a child under 18 years old. 200,691 people in Fort Wayne have like lived in households, and 50,000 of those households are families. Um, to get our word out, we have accounts on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and we can be contacted through email, too. Um, for our marketing, we have a website, and so far we have an about page and a way to contact. And um, our further next steps would be to add admission prices and more about our business. Um, and then we created a flyer that we would see throughout the city if we were to be chosen. Okay, so our budget. To build the building, that would be the water park. We're going to need to pay $42,335,000. Um, utilities are going to be $961,275. New equipment is going to be $1,356. Repairs and maintenance will be $716,000. Insurance is going to be $276,936. <coughs> Revenue before our expenses is going to be $50 million. Revenue after our expenses are going to be $4 million, and our net income is going to be $94,000. Our total expenses will be $56 million, $480,070. Okay, so our competitors will be Kalahari and Great Wolf Lodge. Um, some of the strengths of Kalahari and Great Wolf Lodge, they have very nice service, but some of the weaknesses is very expensive and can't fit into most people's budget so they have to save up if they want to go on a trip there. So our physical strengths is that it will bring attention to Fort Wayne and it'll be using environmentally friendly objects inside the park. So for every tree that we're probably going to be taking away, we're going to be replacing it inside the park. And our strengths are for human is that it's going to bring joy to families and grow stronger bonds in those families and we plan to challenge our visitors mentally which is going to help with I guess outside world and how they deal with challenges outside of the park. So the benefit to our about from Fort Wayne is it will bring a water park to our city so people don't have to travel so far and it, will, it can bond families closer together and bring just people in Fort Wayne instead of other cities. So we are Atlantis Waves. Can, Can you be a survivor? survivor? <laughs>
I want to first say you guys um, mentioned the word visitor and tourist about 10 times. And I work at Visit Fort Wayne, so it made me very happy to hear that. A lot of people when they're building attractions don't think of, they think of this Fort Wayne locally, but people need to come here um, and find things to do, so I applaud you for that. Um, you said it was $42 million to build. Where did you get that number from? We compared our building costs to Great Wolf Lodge, and we had to take their numbers from all their buildings, and since there's 12 Great Wolf Lodges throughout um, the U.S., we had to divide it by 12, and that's how we got our number for our building code. Also, there was a calculator that we used that we found as a resource. We put in how many square feet, which would have been 200,000 square feet for our building, which we made it on CAD, and it calculated how much we would have to pay for it. I like the name. That's a cool name. Is the hotel going to be later, or is the hotel going to be now? It's kind of an expansion for later. Okay. We've added like parts of it in now, just to like get everyone's thoughts going about it. But right, it's kind because of an I, for if you could, I would I would definitely make the hotel up front because you can. That's how the indoor water park world works. Is with the hotel. Mm -hmm. so have you ever been to an indoor water park without a hotel attached to it? Answer. Right, and that's how they get that they get that captive audience, and that's how they prefer to do it. I'm not going to go into any of the numbers because they're so big. I mean, I have no, I have no idea. I mean, this really is a regional, a regional project. Yeah. And I'm trying Point to think what in, you have to have a hotel because that's right. What's around Jefferson Point? Well, what hotel you know, is right there? Where they're trying to build, I can't think of it. There's so ones there. down by Coventry, right. up, but yeah. in downtown, there's nothing really. Right. I mean, to make right this there, to make this thing work, it seems to me you'd have to have the hotel as part of the yeah. project. So I'm going right. to get in my in my and it would really help Jefferson gear. Point, <laughs> but for tour for tourists, they're shopping and again, uh, we'll get away. Yeah. Do you have any idea how many people you have? I mean, I again, the numbers. Are rather staggering. Do you have any idea how many, how many, how many people you have to move through this or hmm. a year to make things? I think it was it was two hundred million, I do believe. Yeah. But I think that's kind of a bigger number. So people. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of people. That's, that's a lot of people. people. Four hundred thousand. That's, that's a lot of people. Yeah. What did you? No, no, no. Two, 200, 200 million would not be. If you had 200 million people come, A, you, could, could, you come couldn't. You B, could be if you multiply that by 20, you know, 20 bucks a head, that's $400 million in revenue. Or no, that's $4 billion, billion. in revenue. Yeah. Yeah. We would probably be in the red for the first couple of years, but it's, yeah. it's a well, you're, you're up front. You're up front, possibly. Yeah. What's what yeah. really kills you here. No, really. That's what's difficult, difficult about a, a, a building like that because you can't buy it. You can't lease the building. It's already made. You have to design. It has to be specially designed for a water park. Um, but I like I like that it's a different style of water park. Like Calhari and Great Wolf Lodge are exactly the same. They're just different names. So like the survive. I think you could definitely. That could be a, a travel point. Is like a, a, a obstacle course style water park is definitely something that people would come across the country if you promote it promote it right mm -hmm. and get as intense as you can with it. Um, as far as the flyer, um, I to me visually like I do a lot of our flyer design. Uh, this top part, center, center of that like that 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 bugged me that it was just off center to the right you want you want people when they look at a flyer to be able to look at it figure out what it is within five seconds mm -hmm. and so like all this summary here you want to focus more on your logistics than like a summary of what it is mm -hmm. so like your hours your price so people pick up the flyer and they that, that just tells you what it is they're like so when are they open how much does it cost those those questions should be answered when people pick it up and that's not necessarily true because a flyer does not always have to be centered. I'm well, sorry, I'm not saying it's not but, always for. But what they're trying to do is is show the water, okay. and I get the fish. I, yeah. I think whoever did this, this is really cute. But um, for, and I'm not arguing. I'm just no, no, the no. the point is sometimes you have to have differentiation, and everybody centers them, right? So if you put them off to the side, it's okay. 
But I don't think you want to have fish. You're trying to point out that you're a water park. So I would make this, if you're going to do this, you want to make it water parkish. I think that's, I think that's kind of what threw right? me off is just like that. that yeah, is that it what wasn't kind of clear yeah. what, it, what yeah. this was for. Mm -hmm. And I'm so I, I get yeah. that. Yeah. So, right. Yep. Yeah. That would that would be a better something that something visually that describes an obstacle. Water sure. Park. Did you yep. guys research any possible issues with using the name Survivor commercially um, and promoting it as mm -hmm. Survivor? Yeah. That's kind of the thing that's like a future project to okay. discuss with them, I guess. Yeah. Because I would Cause imagine CBS has a lot of money to throw yeah. at you, lawyer wise. I would just stay away from it. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Don't waste their time mm -hmm. with it. You probably want to just figure out. Yeah, to be able to use that more creative phrase, you will have to pay them <clears throat> yeah. to do it. Yeah. Do you guys have heard of the water park uh, Diamond Gems? Used to be in your town. I don't think so. Okay, let's just kind of curious about that. <laughs> Atlantis is also going to be an issue. Yeah, it's down the bottom. Yeah, line? and it's beautiful. It's like the Atlantis. But it's the exact, it, they have a water park and they have, yeah, it's okay. in the Bahamas. Um, but so that'll be another, probably another issue for you. I know we looked at, because you mentioned the old water park that was in Fort Wayne, we looked at ones that are outside of Fort Wayne, but they're close by. Like there's one that's Pine Lake, which is outside, and there's Marion Splash House. Which we looked at theirs, but theirs is outdoors, so it's kind of hard to compare to it. So. Is Pine Lake considered a water park? Isn't that a pond out in Adams I mean, County? Like a lot of slide in a, yeah. There's one up in LaGrange. Oh, is that? There is. Okay, there's one up there. There's an indoor water park up there. Okay. Yeah, up at Shipshawana. Yeah, up, oh, yeah, up, up, yeah, up around there. Sounds like fun. <laughs> no, no, I would, I would, I would, go, I would go. go. Yeah, so we'll go. Very nice.